Vanderbilt Mansion is a historic house museum in Hyde Park, New York. The property, historically known as Hyde Park, was one of several homes owned by Frederick William Vanderbilt and his wife Louise Holmes Anthony. The 54-room Vanderbilt Mansion was designed by the preeminent architectural firm McKim, Mead & White. Construction occurred between 1896 and 1899. The house is an example of the Beaux-Arts architecture style. The interiors are archetypes of the American Renaissance, blending European architectural salvage, antiques, and fine period reproductions representing an array of historical styles. The site includes 211 acres of the original larger property, once around 600 acres, situated on a bluff overlooking the Hudson River and includes manicured lawns, formal gardens, woodlands, and numerous auxiliary buildings. The earliest development of the estate began in 1764 when Dr. John Bard purchased land on the east side of the Albany Post Road, where he built Red House and developed the agricultural aspects of the eastern section of the property that continued through Frederick and Louise Vanderbilt's occupancy. Frederick and Louise Vanderbilt purchased Hyde Park in May 1895 from Langdon's heirs. The house was designed and built between 1896 and 1899, and was primarily used as a vacation home for Frederick Vanderbilt's family. Their niece, Margaret Daisy Van Allen, inherited the property when Frederick Vanderbilt died in 1938. Encouraged by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who owned an estate nearby, Van Allen donated a portion of the estate, including the residence with most of its original furnishings, to the National Park Service in 1940. The house has a classic Beaux-Arts plan, with the major public rooms on its ground floor, the central elliptical hall, dining room, and living room all in one line, parallel to the Hudson River. Five secondary spaces are located off the elliptical hall, the lobby, den, gold room, grand stair hall, and lavatory. The second floor rooms, comprising Mrs. Vanderbilt's suite of bedroom, boudoir and bathroom, designed by Ogden Codman, Mr. Vanderbilt's bedroom and bathroom, guest bedrooms and baths and the linen room, are disposed around the second floor hall and the north and south foyers. The third floor contains five additional guest bedrooms, and a servant's hall separated from the guests' rooms by a door at the main staircase. Supported by both concrete and steel, the Vanderbilt Mansion was considered modern for its time. The mansion also included plumbing and forced hot air central heating and electric lighting which was powered by a hydroelectric plant built on the estate on the Crum Elbow Stream. The Italian gardens are detached from the house and incorporated formal elements typical of the Italian style. This meant that the beds were arranged in such a way that if you drew a line across the middle, either horizontally or vertically, one side of the line would mirror the other side. Frederick himself added the rose garden which contained almost 2,000 vintage rose bushes along with other kinds of roses.